Wedged between LA and Beverly Hills, West Hollywood is a diverse and colorful little city. Home of the world famous Sunset Strip, restaurants, clubs, and the design district, West Hollywood attracts more than a million visitors every year. And it knows how to party. West Hollywood is one of the most dense cities in America. We have 35,000 people in 1.9 square miles. That's about 20,000 people a mile. That's as dense as Manhattan. It's a very dense, small town. And that leads to one giant problem. Where to park? Parking has always been a big issue in West Hollywood. And this area in particular uh, has been in need of parking for a long time. So it's no surprise that tonight's guest of honor is this garage. One, two, three. But this isn't just any garage. It's a high-tech garage that will park your car for you. There's no other garage like it on the West Coast. Just how high-tech is it? The city offered to give me a personal demonstration. Hey, Yair. Hi, Dirk. How you doing? I'm fine. Jump on in. Thank you. Yair works for Unitronics. That's the company behind the technology that will park my car. Well, so far, this all seems very normal. I'm just pulling into a driveway. Exactly. Now, what's happening here? Well, you look up and the uh, different signs would indicate the different states of the bays. So a green arrow means it's an entry bay that you can pull into. Okay. The uh, no entry signs mean those are exit bays that cars will be coming out of. So we're just going to pull in until the system tells us to stop, and that's it. Yes. Wait for door to open. Okay, so I just keep pulling up? No, you just wait for the door to Whoa. open. Whoa, wow. Now, on that's your cool. left-hand side, there's a screen. Okay. You just align, align the uh, car, just go straight in. I'll show you your car. Stop. That's it, you're done parking. Position good. After applying the parking yeah. brake, I locked up and walked out. And then I take my keys with yes. me. Yes. Okay. When we pulled in, the bay room was measuring the car so we know all its dimensions, its length, its width, its height, its weight. There are motion sensors and there's scanners all around and there's a camera inside that records video and verifies that nobody moves inside, there's nobody in there. All right, so I'm going to pull a ticket. All right. Pretty standard. This is where my job ends and the magic begins. Bye, Felicia. And that's it. Your car is gone and you're on and about. So I can hear something happening behind that door. And with that, my car was already being turned around and taken on its way. Is it parking around the front? Oh yeah. Can we go see it? Yeah, we can go. How long would it take from the car to get from that driveway to a parking space? It's, it's a matter of minutes. There's my car. Wow, what a trip. In this demonstration video, we can see how it all happens. First, cars are rotated 180 degrees. Then they're loaded onto shuttles that take them to one of the lifts. The car is then taken to an open space where another shuttle slides it in. Without humans opening doors or walking between cars, the sensors and robots ensure cars are efficiently parked within inches of each other. That means you can fit a lot of cars in a small space. You don't need to remember where you parked. Nobody's walking, touching your car. You don't have to walk between moving cars. Nobody dings your car, nobody backs up into it. You're getting the valet experience without the valet. Without an actual human. What happens when it's really, really busy? It's Do you a, have congestion issues? It's a great question. We can have multiple cars being stored and retrieved at the same time. This garage is designed to handle 50% of the uh, capacity in one hour, meaning we can handle 100 cars per hour. The city says the price of the garage, $16 million, is actually about the same as a traditional parking structure with the same capacity. But this one has a smaller footprint and overall size, and it didn't require any excavation. That means less building material and less land. It was a very practical solution to not having a big enough footprint to construct a traditional parking structure. 
it's the perfect way of using a smaller space and getting really more bang for your buck to get more parking spaces. We went from a 68 space uh, surface parking lot to 200 spaces. And the building meets the city's green building code. Since car engines are off, that means no tailpipe emissions, no idling, no circling around to try to find parking. The system works in the dark. We don't have passenger elevators. And because we're not emitting and exhausting inside, so you don't need to temperature control it or to exhaust all the fumes out. So it balances out. And eventually, from an operation standpoint and power consumption, this is lower than conventional garages. West Hollywood officials say the structure will entirely pay for itself over 30 years. My parking fee today probably won't make much of a dent in the overall price tag, but it's a start. Okay, so I just put in my credit card. And you see your ticket number? Mm -hmm. 2404. That number goes up on the screen and the system indicates that your car is being processed. A couple minutes later, my car was ready to roll. Sort of like a game show. <laughs> it really is kind of like a game show. Guess, like, guess which, what's uh, behind door number exactly. one? Exactly. While we were talking, oh. your car showed up. Wait, so it, my car is here behind door number three? Yep. But it's not a game show, folks. This is real life. It's the parking of the future, and it's happening now in West Hollywood. For SoCal Connected, I'm Derek Shore.